Hi guys, it's Tony and I'm back. I know I've been away for a while, but here's the deal. I have a design company and sometimes I get really big projects and it takes me away for a week or two or maybe a month. And I want you to know that I missed you guys and I will never stop making videos because I love doing this. So just hang in there with me. And I'm glad I'm back because it's finally nice and warm outside and it's time for another collaboration video which was given by the lovely Catherine of Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. She asked me to participate in this collaboration which I am a little late joining but I'm so happy she did because I got a chance to decorate my screened in porch. I can't wait to show you how I decorated the whole deck for under $50 using Goodwill finds. So check this out. Whenever I'm decorating my outdoor space, the first thing I do is stop at Goodwill. At my neighborhood Goodwill, I always find the best items. Look at these pillows. And these pillows were just $2 each and I think they'll be perfect on my screened in porch. I also found this very heavy bronze painted antique lamp and this was just $7. I found a beautiful silver platter for just $6, a silver basket, a decorative porcelain egg, and a couple of ornate antique white candle holders. So I looked around for pieces that would fit this sort of Victorian elegant look and I found quite a few little pieces that would work well that were just a couple of dollars each and for just 25 cents this green Christmas garland I think will help me make a nice outdoor space project so I filled up my basket with blue green silver and antique white but as I was leaving the store, I found this nice little elegant end table for just $6 and I picked that up too. So to decorate the porch, I first put down this old rug that we were just about to throw out, but it happened to have the style and colors that I wanted for this look. Now I love this table, but it's not very large. So I'm gonna put my existing beautiful Pier 1 tray on top of it to give more room. So that this tray will tie in better with the furniture, I'm gonna use my metallic bronze paint and brush a little around the sides of the tray. I'm using a large brush and I'm just gonna brush around lightly all the way around the edges. And I'm going to rub that in with a paper towel, almost like a stain. And I'm using a little bit of a circular motion just to give it a little bit of a wood pattern. After it dried, it still looked too light, so I'm gonna rub in a little bit of black to darken it up. So I painted around the side and the top edges, and that looks much better, ties in much better with the furniture. Now for my next project, I'm going to use this green Christmas garland and make a topiary. So I went outside to my backyard and I found a large long stick and I cut it to the size that I wanted and I am going to use my vase here. I made this a while back. This is a mercury glass silver and I think it'll go great with all the silver on the deck. So I'm going to hot glue the end of this to the center of the vase and then fill the vase up with rocks and I got these rocks from Dollar Tree. Now I want to create my topiary shapes so I'm going to start by making one big ball shape at the bottom and I'm using styrofoam bowls and I'm gluing them, hot gluing them together around each other and hot gluing them to the stick just to create a big ball shape. Now I'm going to start gluing my garland around the styrofoam ball shape and I'm just going to start at the top and go around and around and try to cover up all the styrofoam. 
And as I go around, I move all the, the little branches in position and um, try to cover up as much of it as possible. A few inches up, I'm making a smaller ball. Then another smaller ball with just the garland at the very top. In addition to the topiaries, I want to add some beautiful little flowers. Look at this, I found one of my favorite style mosaic vase at Goodwill also. And this was just $2. So I'm going to use my Michael's spring flowers I had left over from Easter and fill up this bowl and this little silver basket that I also got at Goodwill. So the spring flowers flowing out of the silver basket alongside this nice antique lamp I think was a really nice touch for this side table. Now last year to add some color to my outdoor room I hung sheets as curtains which was perfect because they were just the right length. Well this year I found curtains that I like from Walmart and they were not long enough so I decided to attach sheets to the back of the curtains to give me the extra length that I need at the bottom. Now you might want to sew this. I do not sew at all. We'll see how this hot glue works, but if you have a sewing machine, it would be much better to sew it to the bottom of the curtain. So I hung a curtain with this green blue design, a silver curtain and the green sheets. And as you can see, behind the silver I have brown, behind the blue green I have the blue green sheets and it extends all the way to the floor. And my topiary is looking perfect in front of these curtains. The brown, blue, and green pillows I think add a warm touch to the seating. And again, I think these were a great buy for just two dollars each. When I get my pillows from Goodwill, I just throw them in a wash and then I'm ready to use them. And at the end of the season, I actually donate them back to Goodwill to make room for a new look and I start all over again. On the center table, I placed that beautiful silver tray that I found at Goodwill. I cleaned it up with Wright Silver Cleaner and placed my lovely floral arrangement inside my silver mosaic vase along with a few silver chalices and silver candlestick holders that I also got from Goodwill. And right behind the silver tray, these unique white pots give a nice contrast while holding my homemade topiaries. Oh, and I learned how to make these from our coordinator of the collab, Catherine of Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. So check out her video on it. And I love these. These candle holders actually mimic the design in my pillow and in my curtains. And finally, I'll place this decorative egg right here underneath the table. It just happens to have my middle name on it, Antoinette. Maybe I can hide some treats in here for my nephew when he comes over. But now I have a new elegant, outdoor, warm, inviting space for under $50, all compliments of Goodwill. And guys, here's a little tip when you're shopping at Goodwill. Better neighborhoods will have better items at their Goodwill. And surprisingly, their items may be less expensive than other Goodwills. So if you have to drive a little further, it may be worth the trip. Be sure and click on the link in the description box below to see a playlist of all the participants in this Outdoor Spaces collaboration. Now you can get our metallic acrylic craft paint in eight shimmering colors, available now at Amazon.com. Follow me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Snapchat at Your House of Home and Your House of Home TV for daily home, food, and gardening tips.